left to something big coming up on your screen. Just settle back and relax, cause you're gonna get a whole lot of singing, a whole lot of laughing, a whole lot of loving from me. a show for you tonight. I appreciate your applause because I don't feel so good tonight. Jeannie's mad at me. Yeah, I gave her a bracelet for Christmas and it shrunk. <laughs> yeah, I should have given her a necklace. <laughs> but uh, it's a good crowd tonight. This is it. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought I was taller. We have a... But, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll say it for the end. But Jeannie's awful good to me. I got up early this morning, went down to breakfast, and she was in the chicken waiting. Kitchen. Kitchen. What? Kitchen waiting for me. That's one. Hey. She, she was waiting for me with a hard boiled egg. Her mother. That's what she was waiting on. And oh, I, I, I love that. That's my good side. Okay. Now, I kid Jeannie a lot, but I love her. I'm telling you, just this morning. Oh, just this morning. Yeah, I, just this morning, I bought her a present. It's a bathtub on wheels. So now she don't have to get out of the tub when the doorbell rings. How about that for a welcome wagon? Ah. Oh, don't applause. It raises dust. <laughs> now, poor Jeannie, she's still upset. About three o'clock this morning, she heard a noise. And she woke me up and said, Honey, there's somebody in the kitchen. And I said to her, Well, if he's smart, he won't eat there. Birds with feathers of blue in waiting for you back in your own backyard. You'd see your castle in Spain through your winter pain back in your own backyard. Oh, you can go to the east, go to the west. Someday you'll find Weary at heart Back where you started from You'll find your happiness life Right under your eyes Back in your own backyard Oh, you can go to the east Where do I look? Go to the west <laughs> Someday you'll come Heart, back where you started from You'll find your happiness lies Right under the skies Back in your own backyard I don't believe it. This kid is too... I don't believe it. No! I don't believe it. He's good. He's got to win some kind of an award. Such, such a sound emits from his mouth. <laughs> or emits. What the? I don't know that word. Did you? Emits? <laughs> oh, he used to be a clown. <laughs> hey, you know, you don't mind if I relax. <laughs> President Johnson ought to get Congress to make him a, an, honorary, an honorary bird. <laughs> Dean was a great audience For Dean I mean, he enjoyed doing what he was doing He had such a good time I mean, it just, it showed You know, there are some guys that can do things on television And you look at it and you go, I think he's faking this You look at Dean and you go, it's so natural He's so wonderful, he's so charming I mean, how many people do you know today that, can, Or for the last 25 years That can walk out and say you know, in a tuxedo or a tie and a jacket, anything, and say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Hey, you know, I'm six foot one. You must be six foot 12. Huh? <laughs> Gee, whiz. 
You know, it's great to have a real outdoorsman on, on, on the show, you know? Well, thank you, Dean. Uh, I didn't know you were interested in the outdoors. Are you kidding? Sleeping under the stars right there on the ground. I do that every night, you know. <laughs> no, really, I, I didn't go in much for that stuff. I'm, I'm a city kid. Well, there, there are a lot of great things to do. Yeah? Like what? Oh, bird watching. Bird watching? Gee, Fess, I didn't know you fooled around. <laughs> well, bird watching is all right, Dean. Yeah, a little peck at a bird now and then never hurt nobody. <laughs> Well, of course, uh, you do have to know where to look. Oh, I know where to look. It's the touching that gets me in trouble. <laughs> well, that's a good start, Dean, because most people can be staring right at a bird and not even recognize it. I, I think you ought to get uh, out of them woods more often. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll drink to that. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Dean, I am an official bird watcher, and I've even got an official bird watcher's book. You put me on. There's a book about this? Yeah. Huh? Listen to what it says. It says you can learn something from every bird you see. Yeah, I, I learned that a bird in the hand is worth two in a bush. <laughs> and you, you don't want to try to memorize the details of size, shape, or color, since one glance at a moving bird may be all you'll get. Well, I've heard enough of this talk. Let, let's go on to them birds, huh? <laughs> let's go right to the birds. All right, but listen now, you're gonna need equipment. I usually wear sunglasses. Then they can't figure out where your eyes are pointing. No, no, Dan, you're gonna need binoculars. Well, you don't get around, do you? Huh? And, 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 and you have to go where the birds hang out. Well, I know a little bar down the street here. There's uh... No, Dan, you're gonna need a Okay, we have a park. Now, can we have some binoculars, please? Hmm? Bess, I, I see one. <laughs> Where? It's gone already. Well, that's all right. Now, we'll just stay perfectly still and watch. Hmm? Oh, wait, let me, let, let me take a look. Sure. Oh, uh, let's see here now. Oh, wait a minute. There is a purple shafted nut slinger. <laughs> And uh, over there next to it is a silver-throated grass grabber. Let me see. <laughs> hey, look over there. Well, what is it? It's a red, red robin. <laughs> oh, now, let me see it. Oh, no, that's not a red, red robin. That's a girl. Well, she was bob, bob, bobbing along there. <laughs> Give me those things, Dean. Darn, while you were fooling around, I missed a peek at a great horny owl. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> you know, oh, that's terrible. What's the matter? Well, even the parks aren't safe anymore, Dean. There's a, there's a guy mugging a girl in the back seat of a car. We've got to save her. Well, let me see. Oh, it's okay, Fess. I think they're nestling. <laughs> hey, Fess, here comes a two-legged blonde. Hair sweater filler. I think I'm gonna see if I can put a little salt on her tail. <laughs> you know, I don't think Ding understood bird watching at all. No, we're just having a little fun. It's all just a little fun. Tom, this is no time for fun. We got a game to play, and you're fraternizing. Now, what kind of language is that for a coach? <laughs> Look at you. All you ever think about is girls. Oh. Too bad they don't have an all-American panty rate team. <laughs> ah, come on, coach. I've been practicing. I got a tackling dummy in my room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you better send her home before the dean finds out. <laughs> Why don't you girls spread your chair someplace else? <laughs> Fellas, we got the biggest game of the year tomorrow, so if it's not too much to ask you, just this once, take a long, cold shower and think about the game. 
We gotta think about the game, the game, the game. We gotta think about the game, the game, the game. Boos and broads may be great, though they're great, they'll have to wait while we think about the game. I don't blame you, boys. I know how you feel. I made a lot of yards with the chicks myself once. <laughs> I never told anyone this, but uh, there was this waitress back in Kansas City, built for comfort, dumb but pretty. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Man, her perfume sure did smell sweet. Had these little cute gazelle feet. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. We have a drink or two, more or less. The yeah. lights are low, she's got this low-cut dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I thought about the game, the, the game, game, the game. game. Yes, I thought about the game, the, the game, game, the, the game. game. Got it, got it high, I just left her high and dry, cause I thought about the game. Yeah, he thought, thought about, about the game. game. There was this Pullman car that I got lost in on the sleeper out of Boston. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Compartment doors all look the same. I walked in one and there's the stain there. Yeah. 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 Blonde and built and looking down the aisle and wearing nothing but a smile. Yeah. 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 And I thought about the game, the game, the game. Yes, I thought about the game, the game, the game. Oh, my heart says stay for tea. All I said was pardon me, because I thought about the game. He thought about the game. Y'all right? Yeah. As a matter of fact, Zelensky, Murphy and I never told you this before, but uh, remember them twins we took a ride with, operating side by side with? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we're out of gas three miles from Philly, and the night is warm, the skies are dilly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I suggest we stop for just a while. Yep. And no one else around for at least a mile. Yeah. 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 So there we are, sitting side by side in the dark. Four minds with but a single thought. <laughs> I look at my girl. And I look at mine. And with one fell swoop. Yeah. We thought about the game, the game, the game. Yes, we thought about the game, the game, the game. Tell our women we can play sometime after New Year's Day. But for now, we gotta think about the game. I see a dance with Fred Astaire in the movies. I really envy that guy. Well, why don't we dance together now? We'd make a great team. Yeah, instead of Fred and Ginger, we would be bourbon and Ginger, huh? <laughs> what if we're going to dance together, Ginger? You're going to have to give me a lot of lessons. Well, there's nothing to it, Dean. All you have to do is to be able to count up to three. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be so complicated. <laughs> Put your hand on my waist mm -hmm. and stand. 
with your left in my right hand. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Look, you're dancing. I'm dancing? Uh -huh. How about that? Usually by this time of the evening, I can't even walk. <laughs> to the someone whose arms you're in. Hold on to her tight and spin. Look, I'm dancing. <laughs> If Rudolf Nureyev is watching, I'll bet he's trembling in his tutu. Turn around, then turn around, try flying through the air. Like Fred Astaire or a Gene Kelly. Come on. Come on, come on. I think you're marvelous. <laughs> I think you're so performer today that could do what Dean did. Keep in mind, we did 39 shows a year, 39 new shows a year. We repeated 12 every summer, okay? That's a full year's work. There's nobody around that has the charm, the ability, the talent that can do that and wing it the way Dean did. No, don't throw it. Throw the good stuff. Hey, Eddie, careful. I'm so happy that you, That's... you know, you're you uh, my guest and all that. I, think well, I didn't know you played the guitar. Well, I really don't not very well. What do you mean you no. don't? I saw your finger it. You got to all them things. No, I just there. got a kind of a farm type program. So farm? I don't really... Farm, farm. Do Why mean? don't you come out? I'd like to have you guest on my show. At Why, the farm? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, What would I do? Love it out there. Well, Get up five o'clock in the morning. I do that now. Get up at five in the morning. How's that? What are you doing getting up at five o'clock in the morning? Oh, trying to sneak into bed without waking up Jeannie? That's what I do at five o'clock in the morning. Do you really get up that early? No, 
a while, yeah. No, I, I confess now, I, I overslept a couple of mornings this week. My rooster, uh, Ralph, uh, <laughs> had a little laryngitis. Ralph had laryngitis. Oh, no, Andy, farm life isn't for me. Besides, what would I do on a farm? You don't have any idea. The thrill. What? Is to plant a little seed in the soil and watch it come up through the earth, pushing its little leaves toward the light. And to know that right there on your own land, you're growing all the food you'll ever need in a whole lifetime. Of course I do. I got an olive tree in the backyard. I it's all the food I need. Well, why don't you get a little taste of it by helping me with the chores? Anything you say, Eddie. Anything you say. Well, that's great. I like your attitude. Hmm? Now, first we'll milk the cows. Hey, hold on. I couldn't do it. I don't know how to milk a cow. Gee, Eddie. Any five-year-old kid knows how to milk a cow. Well, I wouldn't know where to start. How, what? How do you well, do that'll be obvious as soon as you see the cow. All right. Actually, music is more in my line, Eddie. That's better for me. That huh. makes it easy. Here. What do you mean? Bring out a stool here. Hi there, Herb. Herb? <laughs> This is Irving over here. Uh -huh. What about it? I want to show you how to milk a cow musically. All right. What do you do? Well, first you put your two knees close up tight, and you sway them to the left, and you sway them to the right, and you step around the floor kind of nice and light. I've been lucky so far. <laughs> uh -huh. Then you stretch your loving arms way out in space. Yeah, I got any. I can't do that. I can't do that to a strange cow. <laughs> He's no stranger. Herb watches your show all the time, right, Herb? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, now, how do you do? now look, I'll make it easier for both of you. Huh. Cows love music. Herb loves music. They're sing to her, will you? It's sing a, to her. It's a proven fact. Cows give more milk if they're contented. And if they know they're loved, you know. Now go on, sing. All right. I'll be milking you in all the old familiar places. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, no, 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 that's a little too aggressive for her. Yeah. Uh, sing something sweet. Sweet. Beautiful. Beautiful brown eye. That's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, this is the closest I've been to milk in years. I think mine swallowed a rubber glove. That's funny because she's a bull. Hey, go ahead, lip it. All right, now, well, how should we well, do this? Well, look, wait a minute. You're, how do you do this? You're lousing it up. You're trying to milk, milk her in four-four time. She's a waltz-type cow. One, two, three. One, two, three. Huh? <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, that, yeah, we ought to turn her over and use her for pitching horseshoes. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Uh, what are you looking for, oh, Chow? There's one missing. One missing? Where is it? Oh, beautiful. Behind. 
really work hard when you sing, don't you? Yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, Dean, after, after we do a number, my pips are really pooped. You know? Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say, so why don't we all do a number together? How about that? Okay, just as long as you take all the high notes, otherwise you're liable to hear this pip squeak. <laughs> oh, oh, seriously, Gladys. More than anything in the world, I'd like to be a pip. Well, uh, you're on. What do I do? Uh, th <laughs> You're nobody Till somebody loves you Not even a pit You're nobody Till somebody cares Nobody till somebody cares <laughs> You may be king You may possess oh, the world and all its gold And it's gold And gold won't bring you happiness Until you grow Ken Lane, not many people know this, but Ken was the very first man to see the Pentagon Papers, but he didn't like them. He couldn't find the funnies. Whee! Hey, I know that one. 
my really, really big favorites. <laughs> it's a most unusual day. Martha Mitchell had nothing to say. <laughs> Well, I gotta go now. But before I do, remember the famous words, my only regret is that I have but one life to give to my country. Who said that? Spiro Agnew's talking. <laughs> Anybody in the closet? Yeah. Mr. Ed Sullivan, let's have a final answer. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and I finally found. Somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue, or oh, even be glad just to be sad, thinking about you. others I've seen might never be me might never be cross try to be boss they would not do for nobody else give me a thrill with all your faults I love you still it had to be you, wonderful you, it had to be you, for nobody else give me a thrill, with all your faults I love you still, it had to be you. Wonderful, it had to be. Had to be. Be. Nice weather, huh? Indeed. <laughs> Those pretty flowers you got there. Yeah, they're, they're for my wife. It's our 15th anniversary today. Uh, you married? Oh, no, no. I never liked sleeping alone. <laughs> my name is Todd Showalter. Oh, Leslie Crookshank. Nice, oh. nice to meet you. You know, I've often wondered what it'd be like to be a bachelor again. Just to satisfy my curiosity, I, I wonder if you'd tell me something. Last week, uh, how many girls did you... All of them. <laughs> what I meant was, how many different girls did you go out with last week? Oh, well, let me see. There was uh, Denise, Hilda, Jane, Faith, Marcy, Dorothy. That was Monday. Then... My goodness. <laughs> you really had your hands full, didn't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You know, you've been married 15 years. Oh, yeah. Well, what's it like? It's, it's a fine life. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I, I have a nice home, a lovely wife, two beautiful children, one ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, uh, did you ever cheat on your wife? Oh, well, certainly not. Such an act would be contrary to the dictates of my conscience. It would be a breach of sacred vow. It would be a violation of my moral and ethical code. Besides, she's liable to catch me. Hey, Leslie, you know, those flowers are a good idea. I think tomorrow night I'll get some for my Linda. 
Oh, is your girl named Linda? My wife is named Linda, too. Really? Now, my, real, my Linda's really something. I mean, she's got long blonde hair and the blue eyes, and she's kind of petite, really stacked. You know, the kind Isn't of a... Isn't that interesting? My wife has long blue eyes and... She's also uh, petite. <laughs> really petite and endowed? Uh, she is. Uh, the strange oh. thing about my Linda. 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 You know, the only time I get to see her is Tuesday nights. Really? <laughs> Tuesday nights, I have to babysit. That's when my wife uh, has her weekly class in Lithuanian pottery. <laughs> And uh, last week, she was making pots till three in the morning. <laughs> well, but even though I only get to see my Linda once a week, it is worth it. I mean, she is the most passionate, hot-blooded dame I've ever known. I mean, uh, she knows really how to please a man. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you were fooling around with my wife. <laughs> Dean. What? There's something I, I've, I've wanted to ask you. Yeah? What's that? Oh, well, go ahead. Just... Just get it off your chest, baby. What, what do you want to ask? Oh, Sit down. Okay. Give me a little kiss. No, now they only gave you two bars. Give me a little That's kiss. Okay. <laughs> Will you help? Any time is anything. What are you going to miss? Well, I'm going to tell you. See ya. Tell me how. <laughs> Gosh, gee, why should I refuse? I can see... What you gotta lose? Come, love a little closer. This will never get on the air. <laughs> I'm tackling her. It's football season. Kind of love and be. Yes. Clinging Clingin barn. I know it was. I was just taking my time. Like the feel you. Like the feel your you. cheeks. So rosy. Now that's the way the song goes. Sure. How about a nice now? Oh, yeah. Put your arms around me, honey. Hold me tight. Cuddle up. Cuddle up. With all your might. That? You too much. So am I. <laughs> I just am <laughs> like a Don't give me a little squeeze. Yeah, I've been doing that. Will you? Huh? Why do you want to make me blue? Well, uh, I wouldn't say a boy if I were asking for the boy. What's a little kiss between a fella and a girl? Give me a little, little kiss. kiss. Will you, and I'll, I'll give it right back to you. I'll give it right back to you. And I'll give it right back to you. Handy with those cards. Well, you know, it's like everything else. Once you do something, you never forget. Like riding a bike or drinking. You were drinking long before you were riding a bike. <laughs> I had a gin. Sure, why not? What do you want to play for? I don't know, a hundred or fifty. But you got to remember now. I used to be a dealer back in uh, Steubenville, Ohio. On well, that case, uh, make it a buck. I used to be a loser back in Connecticut. <laughs> You want that queen? No, no, you can have it. I want it. Hey, hey, this is kind of like that picture we made together, remember? Five card stud. Yeah, that was a wild one. We had a fight in the street, broke up the saloon, burned down the town. And that was three days before the picture started. <laughs> oh, you sure had me fooled. I, I, I didn't know you were such a hard drinker. I'm not. 
That's the easiest thing I'd do. <laughs> know that, Jack? I'll say one thing. You sure locked out on the picture. You got to do all the love scenes. They weren't so much. Not much. They released three versions of it. Domestic, foreign, and massage party. <laughs> yeah. They were good times. They sure were. What do you say we uh, make another picture together? Uh, no, I think not. Why don't you have the stomach for it? I haven't got the liver for it. <laughs> Gin. Gin? I don't mind if I do. Uh, honey, gin, please. This story involves Raquel Welch making an appearance on the Dean Martin Show. And uh, the joke used to be that uh, if performers got a little out of line on the show, Greg, that's me, would go, hold it, thank you, out. Too charming I wasn't. The name of the show was Dean Martin, and that's it. Don't bother me. Anyway, she was giving me a little trouble. Jimmy Stewart was on the show that day, and he was in Dean's dressing room, and they're watching me work with Raquel Welch. Dean turns to Jimmy, and he says, you know, he says, I give her another two minutes before Greg dumps her. Jimmy says, Greg's going to dump her? Raquel Welch, he says, he doesn't take any crap from any of these people. I'm telling you right now, she's gone. Anyway, we finished with the sketch. She wanted something with the lights, a thing, her costume, a thing. Anyway, I go back in the dressing room, and I say, Dean, are you ready? And he says, I thought you were going to dump her. I said, Dean, I've been waiting for three months to get her booked on the show, okay? Let's just use her, all right? Don't talk of stars burning above if you're in love show me tell me no dreams filled with desire if you're on fire show me here we are together in the middle of the night don't talk of spring and just hold me tight Anyone who's ever been in love will tell you that This is no time for a chat Haven't your lips longed for my touch Don't say how much Show me Show me Here we are together in the middle of the night Never been in love will tell you that this is no time for a chat. Haven't your lips longed for my touch? Don't say how much. Just show me. Don't talk of love. Lasting through time. Make me no undying. How's your room? This is the best hotel in Hollywood. Well, Fred and I always stay at the Beverly Garland. It's really the in place. Oh, it's just like being on a second honeymoon. When Fred gargles, it sounds just like Niagara Falls. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Elaine. Elaine, you want to do me a favor? Quit hanging your nylons all over the bathroom. Makes the place look like a pig pen. <laughs> All right, I'll get it. Yes, sir, what can I do? Yo, uh, I'm the hotel manager. And uh, I don't want to scare you, but the police have asked us to get everybody out of the building. They say some guy planted a bomb in the hotel. A bomb? Yep. No kidding, a bomb. A bomb. Hey, Elaine, you hear that? A bomb. Come on, let's get out well, of here. Well, I'll have to put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, you better hurry. That, that thing could go off any second. I really, I really want to apologize. You know, this is the first bomb this hotel has had since uh, Henny Youngman appeared in the Grand Ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, 
Hey, listen, Elaine, will you hurry up, please? We could get blown up any minute. Fred, which one should I wear? The yellow or the red? <laughs> you out of your mind? Which one? The yellow or the red? Elaine, please, no, don't start up with me. We're not going to an Academy Award. I mean, this is not a movie star. This is a local boy. He works for the hotel. Came to tell us there is a bomb scare. You understand? A nut put a bomb in the hotel. You could lose a leg. You understand? Forget about the red or the yellow. Am I right? Oh, you, you, Carl, well, you're right. Well, I can't go out in just anything. I mean, I want you to be proud of me. Oh, well, why don't you just drape yourself in a flag? If you don't get out in time, we can always bury you at sea. <laughs> If I send down to home service, will they send up a blunt instrument? Yeah. <laughs> Lady, bomb scares are strictly casual. Why don't you just slip into something comfortable? Like what? Like the elevator. Just because there's a bomb in this hotel, no need for you to be sarcastic. Elaine, get dressed right now. You understand? Otherwise, I'm going to put you over my shoulder. I'll take you out of here forcibly. Just because that worked on our honeymoon doesn't mean it's going to work now. I think I'll get dressed. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, frying eggs. What does it look like? <laughs> Probably the first hotel manager to read his own Bible. Are you religious? I, I wasn't when I came up here, but I am now. I'm ready. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Yeah. There you go. My wife. Yeah. Yeah. Let the bomb go off. <laughs> what is that? A mini dress and a see-through blouse? Well, what about it? Well, I'll tell you. No wife of mine is going out in public like that. Yeah. Dean and Frank knew one another for 20 years, 25 years before, you know, Dean ever went on his own television show. Before Dean ever worked with Jerry, he was a friend of Frank's. Knew Frank, hung up with Frank, played baseball with Frank. Sometimes it was at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. They were great friends. They were, of course, you know, notorious for being the original Rat Pack. It was, what was it, Frank and Dean and Sammy Davis and, and Peter Lawford and, and Joey Bishop. But when you really stop to think about it, the Rat Pack is really the two guys. It's, it's Frank and Dean. The other guys were kind of, they filled in. Sammy was wonderful. But it was really the, the, the two guys that made it work. And they felt so comfortable together. And when you watch some of the, you know, some of the scenes, the sketches that the two guys do, uh, the, the computer dating sketch, which is fun, and ad lib for the most part, except for a few lines of dialogue, uh, and the way they work together, it's, it's just an absolute treat to see them together. Hey, Frank, it's New Year's Eve. We should do something. Why don't we go to my place? I hear there's a heck of a party going on over there. <laughs> Tell, I learned my lesson last year with you and your parties. What do you wow. mean, learned your lesson? Hey. I want you to know that that party cost me $300 just for the ice sculpture of Raquel Welch. <laughs> I know, my lips were frostbitten for a week. <laughs> yes, two last two years. Frank gave a big party at his hotel suite. You won't believe what happened. I will. Happy <laughs> uh, New Year. Listen, you help yourself to anything you want. We're Hey, what kind of party was that? You, me, 87 girls, and only two pounds of potato salad. <laughs> yeah, but I noticed you touched everything but the potato salad. I gotta admit, Frank, you really swing. Oh, I don't lead such a wild life. You don't lead a wild life? Huh? Then how come every priest in town is drawing lots to see who takes your confession? <laughs> come on, let's fix up the bed. We gotta get some sleep. Okay. Let's get this out of here. I thought that women only looked like that when they got up in the morning. Hey, wait a minute. I've only seen you two someplace before. Now don't tell me. Let me guess. Are you two Italian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You from California? That's right. You both on television? Yeah. Ah! You'll have to 
me. That's all. Well, all right. If that's, the way, if that's the way you feel about it, Buster. <laughs> That's a friend of yours. I hope she doesn't have a sister. <laughs> Boy, listen, after that, I need a drink. Yeah. Please, ah. <laughs> now, come on, will you please, lady? Listen, cover up the parakeet. I think there's going to be an ugly scene. <laughs> what a scandal there would be if my girlfriends knew that I was locked in a room with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, my whole reputation would be sullied. <laughs> my name would be dragged through the mud. My whole life would be ruined. Oh, well. Peace <laughs> <laughs> All right, pal of mine, get the key. I wouldn't go in there with a safari. <laughs> that turns me on, it's a hot-blooded Italian singer. That proves what I always said, pal. What's that? There's never a cop around when you need one. I know. Oh, boy. I hope she doesn't come back. I think I hurt myself. He breaks her. I'm trying to save something till I after I get married. I didn't know you had anything left. Oh, shut up. Who's that? Oh, that's my husband. He's with the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay? Well, hey, <laughs> hey, don't stand there. Do something, will you please? Don't come in. We're not decent. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I used to think he was dumb. <laughs> Come on home now. You know I got things to wash out. We got people coming over. Yes, yes, I thought you said he was with the Green Bay Packers. He is. He's a cheerleader. Give me a Mr. I've got to tell somebody. Ah. Well, well, you see, what happened was I just saw this awful movie. It was terrible, sir. People taking off their clothes and running around after each other and wife swapping. It, it was just disgusting. Well, why didn't you walk out? I couldn't find my clothes. Ah. Uh, now, uh, what seems to be the trouble here? Well, you name it, you name it. You know, it's hard to turn on. Needs new parts. The sound's driving me crazy. I think the whole chassis is falling apart. Well, then I guess I uh, better take it back to the shop. <laughs> I just killed my husband. You what? Yes, I killed him. I shot him. I strangled him. I stabbed him. I fed him poison. And I gassed him. But I loved him, officer. I loved him. I loved him. How lucky for him. He could have met the wrong girl. Well, darling, this is our first moment alone as husband and wife. <laughs> Why don't you go in the other room and get undressed? If you don't mind, I'd really rather wait till we get out of the church. 
Hi, Ralph Wilson here, the nation's largest used car dealer, and here's today's special bargain. A new 1964 sedan in perfect condition. Radio heater, wheels, wheel covers, power brakes, and power steering. Used only on Sundays by a school teacher. Right? Hey, what are you doing in the back of the car? This is Sunday, ain't it? <laughs> now, Mrs. Wilson, now that you're applying for relief, I have to ask you a few questions. Yes, sir. How long have you been married? 16 years. 16 years. How many children do you have? 15 and one on the way. 15 and one on the way. Exactly what does your husband do? Are you some kind of wise guy? Oh, excuse me, sir. I notice you're wearing a new shockproof Chromex wristwatch. I wonder if you'd mind taking part in a little experiment for our television audience. Oh, I, I, I'd be glad to. We're, we're on TV. Yeah, yes. Could I borrow your watch for a yeah. moment? Okay, now, now watch this, folks. Just want you to watch this. Watch it now. <laughs> hey! Hey, wait, wait! You just... I mashed my watch in a thousand pieces. That's right, and folks, next time you need a hammer, remember the name, Kelly's Super Steel Hammers. On it. <laughs> all right, all right, now, this is your last warning, Kelly. Now, come on out of there with your hands up. I'll come out when I'm good and ready, and I ain't ready. <laughs> well, then we're coming in. I told you I wasn't ready. I told you to stay away from my girl. Now I'm going to have to beat your head in. It is my duty, sir, to inform you that I have got a black belt in karate. Now do you wish to confront me? I sure do. All right, but don't say, watch it, darling. I didn't warn you. Take that. You caught me. I was just about to leave. Yeah. Huh? Is there anything else I can help you with, Mr. Martin? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell them who's on the show next week? Peggy Lee, Jack Jones, and John Wine. Wayne, Wayne, John Wayne, Wayne. Oh, it, it's not her fault, folks. The cue card for this show, uh, you know, written on cocktail coasters, and she happened to get a soggy one. That's all. <laughs> who's that? Who's that? It's me, Frank. Listen, uh, Dean. What? What? I forgot something. What's that? I need one for the road. Come on. One for the road. <laughs> well. No. Oh, I'd like to stay with you longer, but there's an old show business tradition to observe. Oh, yes, there is. The show must go off.